let us see now how to enter a check payment entry in check printing software 6.6 .6. to add a new payment entry you need to go to payment option if you click on it you will it will open the payment module over here you can see all the list of check payment you have done for this current month if you don't see data you can filter it out let's say I'm selecting two months back from September to current date if I hit the filter button it will show me the list of check what I have generated within this period I can print I can select all check for this printing so I have selected all these checks after selecting all these checks I can do three tasks on it I can export the data to Excel I can print selected check okay if I click on this button software will print four check on your checkbook or this four checks next is print selected voucher if you want to generate a voucher of all this four particular entry you can do it from here to modify your voucher or to generate a voucher I will show you in the next module next video it is in control panel right now I am showing you how to add a new payment entry and how to print a check okay to add a new check you need to click on the add button the moment you click on the add button software will ask you all the payment information let's say first I need to select the bank I select access bank remember in the previous video I have shown you we have uploaded the image so image will be also appear over here next is the currency part okay the importance of currency in the software is in some currency the amount in words is in millions and in some currency it is in lakhs so if it is Indian rupees the software will print the amount in lakhs and crores not in millions okay next narration narration if you want to add a remark some remark for this particular payment you can do it from here next part is a check number check number will be automatically added last plus one okay let's say the current checkbook number is this so you need to write the first checkbook number the software will automatically increment for the next check okay now what date you are entering this check you need to select it over here check date entry and check date these are two different entities okay this is the end date where you have actually entered the check and this is the check date okay now next is the voucher number if you want to print a voucher voucher number on your voucher you can type it over here you can it is all the same just like check number it is last plus one okay now if it is salary check and you need to print it every month okay so you can print let's say repeat it for 12 months so next 12 month every day every, every 11th or I'm sorry every 20th of, of that month software will automatically generate the check okay I'm let's say adding right now zero I don't need to repeat it okay this is the basic payment details now we'll move on to the check part okay the first page you want to say account pay yes or no if I take it automatically my bearer sign will automatically appear and disappear okay now next is check date you select on what date you need to print the uh, what the what's the check date on it okay if you don't want to print the check date simply take this off okay the software will not print the date on the check <coughs> pay now let's say all the existing entries will be shown over here if you want to enter new pay simply type it out let's say I'm printing in the name of Softrick India okay so the moment you save this record this particular pay name will be added automatically to a pay master so no need to have a duplicate records software will manage it automatically next part is the amount okay let's say I'm going to pay let's say 30,000 uh, 30, rupees and 65 passive so automatically everything is formatted over 30,000 all the amount in word if you don't want the decimals you can remove it 
so whatever you type over here it will be automatically printed over here so no need for human errors of check and everything it will be automatically converted to words okay you remember i have in check master in check book i have given option of for words to split director that i have typed if i haven't typed it it won't be dis uh, displayed over here okay in some check you need to print non negotiable so if you take this it will print non negotiable if you don't print it okay it will be here it won't print anything now not over then sometime it happens that you issue a check okay without amount but you need to specify that the check should not be more than 30000 so you write 30000 here so on the check it will be printed not over than 30000 okay it is an optional thing some check or uh, some banks allowed some doesn't allowed okay let's move on 30000 4450 this is my check amount okay i have entered the check details i will hit the save button if i click on it the software will show the data which will be displayed over here uh what was the date okay it was future date okay so i have the data over here okay if i click on it now i can print this check the moment i click on this print button software will automatically print the check as per the design i can also generate a voucher if i click on this software will generate a voucher of this particular check information okay we will have we are having the voucher number check number the date the name of the account the amount okay which from which bank you have paid what was the amount in words everything this can be formatted as per requirement i don't want to save this document <clears throat> so this way you can add a payment record in the system now let's say if you want to delete a particular record simply click on it and hit the delete button if you click on delete the software will ask you confirmation are you sure you want to delete if you don't want to delete just click on no nothing will happen now let's assume that this, this check is been cancelled simply click on it hit the edit button you say tick if the check is cancelled if you click on it this check will be cancelled so all your reports in the software will not show this check as this check is cancelled i will update this record see already you can see a tick specified as cancelled so this way you can do the payment entry and all this modules